Hola! Shabbat Shalom! Welcome! Ah! This is a uh, 1v1 Arabia game. Uh, ver uh, raw. Stone Raw versus Profetha. Profetha. wonder if it's a Spanish player also playing as Aztecs. A Mexican player also playing as, as Aztecs, I should say. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but we've got some uh, interestingness. Scouting with some sheep. You got one pig down there. Okay, yeah, go claim them and come back. That's fine. Not the end of the world. And this is why I said I was going to wait a little bit to cast. I'll be right back. Hold on. All right. So you're taking your stuff. You scouted back here, but you're kind of... Oh, wait. Didn't scout back here yet. There we go. All right. And you're feeling the Magyars. Feeling the Magyars. Down your other boar, which is nice, with your sheep. Going out to a wood line, and it seems like... You gotta feel like you're pretty open right here. Having only seen your back wood line so far. house over there sounds fine maybe a bit early but making sure you're not getting housed so it's probably a good probably a good idea oh you see the edge of that guy okay all right all right not too bad that boar or that berry bush helped just kind of sort him out. And let's say you're doing well. All, all while scouting. Yeah, your scout moving around at the same time, too. You're here with the boar, just making sure things are going well for your lumberjacks. And I like it. Oh, excuse me. Not seeing anything crazy with your scouting, and you've got... Yeah, so, I mean, your berries are pretty forward. Uh, and as maggots, you kind of want them to have that food income. But having the back gold stone and wood line is pretty nice, and you see you've got a whole lot more wood line to work with, too. So, that's got to feel decent. But yeah, as far as walling goes, I don't know if you're just going to end up going like here, and then up to your TC and then maybe just to there. I think I would start building a house house and like maybe a barracks over here or something like that to try and have this back area. Although you probably want to make sure that's not wide open. But you're getting all that food. Killing a pig while you're at it. You'll want to make sure you task him over to there. But overall, not too bad. Only three on wood sounds perfect. And I like it. I like it a lot. You're sending someone to gold already. There you go. Got some berries going. That'll be a good idea to take some of those berries. You're thinking to go send out your your scout check out and see where things are so where are you ranked you're at 850 sounds about right that's about where I'm at too so and as you're scouting what do you see still got nothing all right house pops up oh nice nice you're dodging on accident I don't know if you're even seeing it or if you just okay maybe you did or maybe you just told him to go there originally Okay, he did not shoot his boar. I almost thought that for a second. He's still getting it, but you can see that you are... You have found his TC, at least. I'm going to say that that was by luck. Because he just ran straight to there. So maybe you just clicked to there? I feel like you should always click, like, closer to the edge of the map. Because you know the TC is not going to be on the edge. That way, if you are just clicking and stopping, then you're not stopping, like, under the TC. Because if you would have clicked, like, here... Just even to there, you would have been in range and your scout probably would have died. Or you at least would have gotten a lot of HP off. Alright, you're a hot pop capped. 
but you are clicked up. You guys both have the same amount of idle TC time, so yeah, you guys seem like you're about on the same level, and he built a house. I wonder if he was walling even more than that. You started to move around, so you definitely know where he's at now. And okay, just going forward, barracks. Play and open. Kind of like it. I kind of like having the barracks right by the berries. You know, it feels good if you do get, well, you're not going to get scout rushed, but if you do get pressure there, you know, you'll have your production buildings nearby and it's a little bit for, further forward. All right, you saw his wood line. You're getting an idea where his base is. I think I'd have double backed, maybe. Instead of bringing your scout all the way back. But that's just me. And you're up. And what do you do when you hit feudal age? Archery range, I like it. I got... Uh, you don't have a mining camp yet, but you're going to send some people out there. So you got archery range, mining camp. And I'm sure you're going to queue up some archers. Now are you going to go double archery range like you did last game? Or not? We shall see. We shall see. But you're raking in the wood. What was that noise? There's one. Okay. All right. And you're seeing walls coming down. You see three on gold. And they're Aztec, so you can either assume... Ar I guess archers or eagles. Okay, and you're taking the fight. Decent fight to take. Not too bad. And just trying to delay. We have archers coming, so I think that that's going to be okay. And you see, okay, so you also saw the barracks and the forward lumber camp. You got a scout just chilling over here, watching you guys, watching you work. Got to replace that boar with somebody else to watch you. And I wonder if he sees your... Okay, he does not see any of your forward stuff at all. So that's kind of interesting, but he sees you're heavy on gold, so you could think that he'll know you are on some sort of archer or, yeah, I mean, you're not going to be getting that much gold for scouts, so you can make that assumption. Eagle, okay, you see his archer range. Okay, so you are you can be ready for it. And you've got your archers back behind your base. And if you've got your scout out, you can kind of see where, you know, if he's coming forward or not. I think that you could probably move, at least on the front side. If you're actually thinking you're going to go forward, I think I would start heading that way. But, alright, his scout did move over to here. Got a house. Got a couple, four archers already. And you're just chilling. You're getting your farming eco down, so you have enough. And if you're going feudal ar feudal archers, I think I would maybe not have put all those down. You know, how many is that? Seven? Okay, seven's fine. And just make sure that you can still queue up some archers. Even just one at a time, you know, to try and keep on building up your numbers. Because you're not going to need all that food if you're going archer pressure for a while. We could have taken a little bit more time to add farms and still use your wood for putting out some military. Oh, unless you were housed, and then, you know, it is what it is. You can't make people anyway. I wasn't paying attention. But there you go. Uh, no eco upgrades to note. And, okay, you can see a, a flaggy flag. But you haven't seen any army from him. And you're just playing uh, kind of passive, making sure that you got your stuff going, which is fine. But you made these guys, you might as well kind of use them or send them with your eagle or something. You know, he's not going to have scouts, so worse is going he's, he's going to have skirms, and then you can just run away from skirms. Right? Got your bill on the outside. And okay. Oh yeah, so you feel... With seven and fletching, you feel strong enough to move out. You're getting your eco upgrades. I like it. I like it a lot. Lumber camp's getting far. 
Would you think about a second lumber camp? Maybe on, one on this side. Now that you've got your nice wall here, I think I would go over here. Also, you don't know if this is open or not, and it is definitely not. So, that, you know, it's just something to think about, too, for future games. And, yeah, you're probably worried about seeing a bunch of eagles, but... Yeah, I'm just surprised he didn't try moving out. Especially when you saw him walling up early, he kind of... <laughs> Could assume that he's not going to have that much army. In Feudal Age, uh, Feudal Age Eagles take so much time. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> you're not blue. <laughs> oh, you're red, man. You're red. Man, it's been a long game. Well, you know, whatever. He's, I'm looking at an Eagle Scout. This is the, this, I'm sorry. This has got to be the worst, worst cast ever. Well, then, then I guess this is interesting. What do you got going on? You completely walled up and you've got 13 farms. You're Magyars. You're slowly building up archers. You're not attacking, which is a good thing because you'd get wiped out with your army. And, uh, you're patrolling over here. But at least you know you're safe. My question would be, why do you have so much on gold if you're not... Oh, I guess you're making archers now, but... You're not making that many archers. Oh, I'm sorry, Raw. I was not focusing on you at all. But, yeah, you gotta mark it. You're gonna click up. Just buy it. You're gonna buy the food, right? You got too many resources. There you go. And you click up. All right. Now, thinking about this, you've seen his archery range. You've seen uh, no military. He's not pushing forward at all. You've made a pretty good do with the walls that you have. I guess what army you're going into. If you're go, if you're Magyars and you're going into archers against Aztecs. It's not bad. And you've seen an archer range, so you know that he's going to be having some sort of archer at least, too. I feel like maybe a couple skirms would help. You've got the food eco for it. You're getting armor. Um, you've got tons of gold. So maybe another range. Maybe another range and, you know, like right here. And that way you can go out easily or... Or some siege as soon as you click up. You've got your wood upgrade. You don't have your farm upgrade, which with the amount of farms you have might be worth it. And okay, okay, what are you seeing? Okay, seeing archers. Okay, so you know he's got at least one. And he just hit castle, so you can kind of assume that he's going to be in castle age. Now I wonder if he clicked through or not. You did fully wall. I wonder if you could find this hole. I mean, the nice thing with scouts is you can, you know, kind of move around quickly. And you've got a pretty good eco going, if you can. Okay, clicked up to castle. And straight knights, okay. Where's your four knights right away? Houses back there. That's a good preemptive uh, house wall. I like it. Uh, you've got enough wood for either a TC or... Okay, he's back there. Either a TC or another production building. And I think that you should go for another production building for army. I think that would make a huge difference. And you're going six cab archers in a row. You, yeah, you just need another archery range then. You gotta have at least two. And this could be, okay, and you're going to go back there and have a TC buy that other gold. I like that a lot. I like, I like that a lot. So you're going to let him in. That's fine. You see that they're upgraded a crossbow. Not bad. Maybe you'd want to consider getting some cav armor. If you need to tank shots. 
and this needs to get up ASAP. And he's doing a loop to see what you got going on. Oh, super bad timing for that house to complete. You're considering moving those guys. But you're just gonna let them sit. And I think I would, yeah, build up the night numbers as long as you can before you attack. Because I think that you'll wipe this. But I still think that it is. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And you've got... Yeah, way to clean up his army. I like... That was perfect. You waited till you had a good enough, uh, enough meat shield. And then you just had your archers on the hill. Really nice attack. You should feel pretty good about that. Make sure you set your rally points to gold or wood. And you're gonna make more cav archers. I just, yeah, bloodlines is perfect. You need bloodlines. Oh, go ahead and take that guy out. If you can hit him, there you go. And then you're going for the counterattack right away, which I like. And you see that. So you don't head that way. Man, I feel like that's just perfect time to send the knights. No, don't take that fight. Oh, oof, oof. All right, well, you see pikes and knight, or pikes and eagles. Pikes and eagles. Oh, just think if you would have just sent your knights, bloop, bloop, and then just annoyed that. You'd have pulled all of that back. You'd have pulled all of that back. You're just heading that way with your... With those guys then. Okay, you're dodging his TC. I like it. Try to stay out of sight. Now you make an army behind. Okay, yep, yep. Where are all your cab archers? Uh huh. Oh, okay, they're they're moving. Okay. So you're looking to raid. You're going there with those guys. You're going here with these guys. All right, just don't. Now you're moving around a lot. Okay, running under the TC with knights. You just want to consider getting your armor. Okay, you're clicked. you clicked through, so you see that that's open now. And you're attacking the house. All right, but here on the wood line, oh baby. Now we're talking. Don't even have... You have the perfect number. Ten... You're just one-shotting bills. Look how good of an attack this is. Simultaneous attacks. Also, distracting there. Glorious. Oh, oh, oh. Get the close ones. Get the close ones. Nice. You're focusing other places, but that's fine. Because you're destroying all of his eco. That was very much worth it. How many was that? 11. Wait. No. 20 Eco KD. I didn't even realize he had that much of a lead. Yep. Taking out the stragglers. And that is... That's huge. Now you did see a siege workshop going up up front. So you gotta be weary of that. And maybe you want to consider some siege of your own. Oh, Bray, just bring your knight over. He... Does not have any armor, so you're doing decent. He does have all armor on the skirms, though, so. Oh, just take out the eagle. Take out the eagle. You got a knight over there. For skirms. You got knights for skirms. Okay, you just kind of give up. That's fine. You got to focus over here. I understand that. What a great attack, though. I mean, 21 eco KD. Or eco kills. Okay, and now you got your secondary army already in the back. You got 10 knights and 10 cav archers. Move forward, man. And get at least one armor on your cav. You saw he's got some pikes, and you saw he's got eagles. You need those knights for those eagles. So you're heading out there, and you're bringing some vills. You're just going to stone. Okay, you're going to wood over there. Wood and stone over there? Or are you going to take this stone? You must be taking this stone. And yeah, I think that your military play is paying off, except for just keep your army together. You got dudes on horses. Stick together. The wood line back there is great. Going to stone will be great. 
And let's see, you're gonna go back to the same spot. You're just gonna, you need at least, okay, here's some armor. Finally, some armor coming in. And we'll see what he's changed between this, that, this and that. You're going stone. And you patrolled into some houses, so you're letting him know he's there. It's fine. Pop cap him. And he's... I don't know that that's a wise fight for him. Oh, okay, there you go. Pathing finally working out. Yeah, he's choosing not to take that. And yeah, oh, stand ground right there. Stand ground, stand ground. Okay, he's running away anyway. But he could have gotten some shots off. You have not gotten... You're going for a university or anything yet? Oh, you don't really have the wood for it. Pretty light on wood. And you're running away from those knights. I think I would take those the fight against those eagles. All right, you see him on stone, though. And you're working up to your own stone. Yeah, 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 not bad. He's got not the numbers. Not the numbers he needs. And you've got the knights for any skirms he's got. And great, great raids on the backside. Great raids on the backside. He's got that open. Gotta punish it. And the cav archers are nice. I'll just say, keep on making military and vills behind it. And he's ready. I think I would consider getting plus two for these ten. You've got a good number of knights. And having plus two could be really useful for just like diving under the TC a bit if you need to. And I think, what, plus two is like 300 food? Or food and gold? I'm not sure. Make sure you're still making bills and making military. Your resources are climbing, unless you're thinking of heading up to Imp. And yeah, see, that's a lot of damage from that TC. A lot of damage from that TC. Yeah, and just, I know you're raiding, but try to keep your armies together if you can, because it's the, it's those guys together that are, that are killing it. Yeah, I mean, now you've got resources to go in, you don't have the buildings though, that's what it is. So here comes a monastery, you gonna rush down a university too, or no? Nope, you don't have wood for it. But you've got all the food and gold. Man, start just making some more knights. Oh! Oh, just stop and kill. Stop and kill. He's going up to Imp. Nice, nice, nice. You got ballistics yet? Oh, Raw, you need to get ballistics. And do you have Thumb Ring? That would be the other thing that would really help, I think. And he, yeah, you won't know this, but he clicked up to Imp, so he just spent a whole lot of food and gold on when he needs military. There you go, 13 knights out of two stables, but it's better than not, and come on, you gotta get armor now. You just gotta get that plus two. Okay, you see the castle. Castle can't hit anything, though, but you see it. You're fighting decent there. Yeah, run away from that fight. Wait for your knights to come out. And all right, got that plus two. Nice. I like it, I like it a lot. Eco-wise, you're building up back here with some farms. You got there with your wood still. And a castle there I think is fantastic. Fantastic castle on a hill with resources nearby and protects all of back here. Just make sure you don't chop through this. Uh, is basically it. And then even if you wanted to like either stone wall here or something over here, if you just want to make sure that nothing bad happens, that's also a good idea. But love that castle. Love, love. You got a monkey to get that relic eventually. I'm sure you will. And you've got a decent number of knights with plus two now. And you've seen a lot. And you've got, you know, all the attack upgrades for free. So I'd feel good going against eagles if I was you. You see he's an imp now, though. And that might make you worried. You might get a trap out. 
Uh, but at least you've got a hill, and he'll have to be on the front side of his castle with his treb. And you're building up the numbers. Yeah, just keep up with that military production. And I think you've got this. More stone. Could try to put another castle down. I don't know if I would go over here or not. Or just try to push forward. Maybe I'd just try to push forward once I hit imp. I guess it depends on how, if you see trebs and whatnot coming out. Eco back there is looking good. Are you housed? Not housed. All right, you're looking good. I like it. I like this a lot. You even could try. I wonder if you could get a treb right back here and treb it down from from the backside. Not that you have to, but if you like wanted to try to come have even more protection. And you got a knight looking for other resources. Always a great idea to do. Look and see if he's out somewhere else or not. Yeah, I think I'd just tell him to like go down here and patrol. And all right, here's the thumb ring. That's gonna make the accuracy of your guys so much better. Are you wall in this? Okay, oh, you're going to gold down here. Ooh, interesting. All right, ran into a bear. Outposting. Not a bad idea. Outposts are always good. And he ran straight into you, which is a mistake for him. And yeah, look at these resources. You should be instantly kicking Cavalier and at least Cavalier. Oh, and Parthian Tactics. Yeah, Parthian Tactics, Cavalier. Okay, you just want to prioritize your Cav Archers, which makes sense. So you'd see you have the most of them. But I think you can do all of those. And also, what? Podkin, maybe? And you're gonna be set. Set for life. You got your relic. You got one. You gonna try to snag this guy? I would love it if you tried to snag that while that castle's still standing. How many trebs you got? One treb. You're gonna try not to trickle treb. You got a couple cav archers chasing them down. Did you get ballistics? Oh, no ballistics yet? Hmm. Okay, you saw those guys, pulled them back. Probably a good idea. Also not a bad idea just to have a random knight back there in case, you know, Eagle Raid did come in. And you went for the second castle over there, which I, I do like. I feel like that's a not a bad idea at all. So, I just wasn't sure you'd take the time to come over there, but I mean, it definitely solidifies that. And then you also protect that stone if you ever did need to take it. And you are going to be ready, my friend. Another lumber camp. Are you housed? Not housed. The second hat castle definitely helps there. Yeah, I think that just a uh, cavalier and then you would have been fine. But you're going for massive amounts of traps also, so that's always great. All right, there's a little bit of a lull though. You haven't seen anything from him. You know, might not have been a bad idea just to take like a night or two and run back and see what he's got going on back here. Cause he might have had, you know, people on stone again or gold again, or he probably has moved to this wood line. So I think I would have just sent somebody back there cause he's got to be taking wood. If you look at his base, what you know of it, he's got wood here, he's got wood here, and he's got wood here, and he's got nothing over here. Well, maybe we can see he's got basically nothing, so. Just would have been interesting to see. And not trickle trebbing. And here comes all the upgrades. Cravinian army, recurve bow. We're gonna see some Magyar Hazar. Yeah, we are, 17. Why not? And those you should just be sending back. And here he is, moving out with his army. And he is trying to get the hell out of Dodge, and he chose the wrong way. He should have gone backwards. Goodbye Siege Workshop. Goodbye Castle. And you have to wonder, does he feel like this is a GG moment or not? 
you're getting your plus four armor. I don't know if you should get that before you get Cavalier or not, but that's got to feel great. And moving forward, you still don't have Ballistics though. Yeah, just dive. Don't even care about the tower with, with those guys. Ooh, okay, found another castle. And bye bye TC. Yeah, see if you have. Oh, I guess he has a castle there, yeah. I was thinking that before you had the castle there, you would want your knights underneath that you could clean up a lot of those guys already as soon as they pop out of the TC. And yeah, man, it feels so satisfying having four trebs. Having four trebs and just being able to annihilate things and then move. It's such a good feeling. Oh man, you got the resources. Upgrade your dudes. Upgrade your army. It's killing anyway, but just make them last that much longer, especially under a castle. And all you're seeing is skirms. You must be having a major gold problem. I feel like you could check and see over here. He's got some. And there's got one random bill over there for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why you don't want to upgrade your guys. They're just poor lonely knights. Oh! Okay, you see the raid? Oh, uh, you see the wood. And you're going to be taking out that. Six trebs. What a good feeling. And that's the game. Yeah, the heavy cav archers. GG's all around. And he had nothing back there anyway. Nothing back there. He's over on that wood line and he just... Oh, he just walled up over there. Yeah, I think he... He must have just been really shy on wood. He... I guess he had 12 there. He might have killed some too, but... He was not anywhere else... On wood. And I feel like he probably was struggling a bit. Oh. Uh, 76. I probably could look up there and have seen... Holy cow, he had tons of food. He had all that food. Floating way too many resources. But you did a great job of gathering up a good ball of army. And are a well-comprised army. Cav archers, meat shield, and your trebs. And he had no way of stopping that. I feel like that was actually a really bad matchup for him because... Unless he had a monastery to try to convert your knights, he was never going to get, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, skirmishers were never going to be enough. Not with you having, you know, you had a, at least like 10 to 20 knights the whole game, pretty much just waiting around, so, in defense. So nice job. It's got to feel great to get that kind of a win. And I think that you did a really good job walling up your base. Sorry I focused the whole first half of the game on him. Uh, but I'm sure you did well too. You did end up getting... Oh, you got two. Did you get the other one down here? No. Which one did you get? There was, was, it, there was one over here. Maybe this is the, one, the other one you got. We walked over there and got it. Maybe not. Oh yeah, you might have gone through that gate. I'm going to assume you got the other one down there. There's one there. Oh, well. GG, we can go look at uh, the uh, statistics. And you did have a vill lead, you know, going through. Or a population lead, I mean. For most of the game. He did make a bunch of army, though, after he reached Castle Age. And then you just kind of took it. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong thing. He had the army lead, and then once you hit Castle Age, we went ahead. Yeah, sorry, I'm still confused over who's who. Where's where was your castle times? All right, he had a faster castle time. You guys are about even for all for all the timings. But economy wise, you were killing it. Way more vills. His vill count never got that high. Army high, way better. I mean, you were making double gold units. And, you know, he was going eagles and archers, and that just, if you have a good amount of knights, I feel like that, that can take that. 
and then you had the Cav Archers behind for support eventually. So it was uh, it was a good game. Good games overall. Great raid early on on this wood line. Absolutely demolished him. And from there, you just kind of took it. So what a fun game to watch. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. See ya. Bye.